round up on the subject, Jesus, our interpretation of the scriptures. And like you already know, the scriptures will be where Genesis to Malachi. And all of them testify to one person. On Thursday, we were able to zero in on the fact that the scripture is a single document. For those of you who are not here, you can put that down in writing. Of course, our text is already up there. It says, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. So, oh, the scripture is a single document that testifies of one person. And I said on Thursday that the greatest test, you know the way you write test in school, to a believer will be your understanding of the scripture. You see, like the question our brother asked this morning, people have different explanations to Bible texts. How do we know the real one? There is a rule to Bible study which say in the mouth of two or three witnesses, a word is established. It means that the entire scripture must agree with that particular thing. Otherwise, it cannot be set aside to be a doctrine. So, doctrine will be a function of different confirmation, both from the Old Testament, text of the scripture, of course, revealed in the New Testament. Can somebody say amen to that? So, the scripture is a single document. The reason we use that is because Jesus said, search the scripture. For in them you think you have eternal life, they are they which testify of me. So, the scripture cannot point to two persons at the same time, but to one person. And we said on Thursday that no scripture has two meanings. Every scripture must have one meaning because it's a single document. Can somebody say amen to that? 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15, which is another text we have used in the course of our teaching. We will take it up from there. He said that from a child that has known the holy scripture, which are able to make you wise unto what? Salvation. So there is a singular purpose of of the scripture. It brings you the wisdom of salvation. The word there, wise, is a Greek word, sophizo. Now from sophizo, you have the word sophia. Now that is that, that intelligence, that intelligence of the scripture is to bring you to the point of salvation. However, salvation will be faith in a man. And that man is who? Christ Jesus. So the scripture cannot be used for what it was not meant for. The scripture must be used for what it was originally designed for. So the scripture was designed for salvation, but that salvation will be faith in a man. Now verse 16, that taught us how to use the scripture so that you don't use them for economics. You don't use them for politics. You don't use them for uh, anything or for medicine. And look at Pastor Barry, he's a lawyer. We have people here who are engineers. We have those who are accountants. Nobody here will tell me in the course of your study that one of your textbooks was the Bible. If in the natural, they could not use the Bible as a means of teaching you it means the Bible is not used for whatever we are using it for today. It's a single document. It teaches Christ. Dr. Combs is a geologist. I'm not sure at any time you were given the Bible as a textbook in your school. Were you? Pastor Barry, did you people use the Bible as your textbook in, 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 in law? No. They may cite the Bible, but it is not for that purpose. The purpose of the Bible is to teach Christ. And how does it teach Christ? It will take faith in Christ. And which is what? Salvation. Let me tap your neighbor. I hope you are following. Ask your neighbor. Hope you are following. Now, look at how it's being used. And I say, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable. Now, that is to say, the scriptures can be profitable for what I'm about to say. The word profitable is a Greek word of philemons. That is to say, it's advantageous. It's advantageous for doctrine. The word doctrine means it's for teaching. It's not for teaching business success. It's not for teaching medicine. It's not for teaching in nursing. It's to teach the subject matter. The subject matter is Christ. Am I communicating? Is anybody lost so far? Don't bail out on me. Is anybody lost so far? All right, look at it. For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So it cannot be used for devils. 
You didn't hear what I just said. There are people who study the Bible to look for the devil. The Bible is not a devil material. Tap, write it down. It's not a devil material. People are looking for devil. This Bible is not a devil material. It is a material to teach Christ. However, there are so many actors there. Man will act. The devil will act. Just like in Genesis chapter 3, the Bible said the serpent said to the woman. So the devil also spoke inside the Bible, but it takes a careful study to know the person the Bible speaks about. And the Bible is for one man. And that's why we say it's a single document. is for Jesus Christ. If you are still here, say amen. Sir? Yeah, you know. So we also said it's used for doctrine. Now that for what purpose? That the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto how many of you listen to the teaching of Pastor Barry this morning? All of those teachings is to furnish you for good work. That you learn to show compassion. You learn to show love. You learn to show pity, isn't it? You are not supposed to act like an unbeliever. So the Bible comes to work to burn the tars out of your heart. And Lord Church, am I communicating? Now, but how would that happen if we don't study in the light of Christ? It is where we carry the Bible for the purpose for which it was given to us that we can achieve that purpose. Otherwise, the Bible can be used for anything. I'm even told there are shrines that they take Bible to. Unfortunately, we've done so much disservice to the Bible. There are people, they say they are doing Chrislam. They carry Quran and the Bible together. You see, that is still a level of understanding, which is called wickedness in our study. True? It has wickedness. You are doing disservice to the Bible and using the Bible for the wrong thing. The Bible is used to study the cause of Christ. So Christ is our study in the church. Write that down. That will help you. Christ is our study in the church. And so we went through quite a number of examples on Thursday and today we'll be adding icing to it. Let's see how Paul used the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I'm reading verse 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Did Paul act outside of what was written? He said, moreover brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received and wherein you stand. Verse 2 said, by which also you are saved if you keep in memory what I preached unto you unless you have believed in vain. So he said you are saved, but look at the material. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, how? So the scripture is the foundation of salvation. Paul said, I am telling you how we use the scripture. We use the scripture in preaching to you. You became saved. Because that is what the scripture should be used for. We used it and you were saved. And he's referring them that is according to the scripture. Verse 4 now say, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. He did not carry out extra biblical you know teaching everything he did was within the confines of the scriptures let's do something again in Luke's gospel and chapter 24 I'll read from verse 25 but I wanted to participate I don't want to be in a hurry you will enjoy this study this was upon the resurrection of Jesus Christ he spoke to two disciples on their way to Emmaus it's told that Cleopat and the other person's name was not mentioned and it's also believed that if it's Cleopat it could be Mrs. Cleopat however go with me he said then he said unto them oh fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophet has spoken so what are we supposed to do with what the prophet spoke in the in the in the scriptures to believe we have established that in us say ought not Christ to have what suffered and to have entered into so he collapsed the entire scriptures into two one the sufferings of Christ number two and the resurrection so what should the scriptures be used for to explain the sufferings of Christ and the resurrection and in our day and in our time, much of our teaching should center on the resurrection. Because he has suffered, we are the result of his resurrection. Learning anything today? 
Now look at it. How did he teach them? I'm beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded. The word expounded with me to interpret unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning who? Himself. You will join me read now. I want you to read the next verse and then until I say stop. You read one to go. No, I want us to read so that people who are following us can hear. One to go. And as they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. We will read together. Next verse. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is fast spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it. They were hungry. Meal, not, not what you call communion. They were hungry. Even they don't reach. Hello, church. Because this is what people give wrong meaning to. It was evening. He was to go further. They said, stay with us. He said, okay, we will stay and eat. Is that okay? They brought bread. He blessed it. And break it and gave to them. Next verse. And their eyes. Up until this time. Were they having closed eyes? Or their eyes were open to the scriptures? So the scripture. So it means the blindness was restricted in the area of scriptures. Am I communicating? Is it possible for people to have the scriptures and not understand it? All right. That's the blindness of eyes. Can we make progress? And their eyes were open and they knew him and he vanished. Why will he vanish? Ask your neighbor, why will he vanish? The next verse will answer it. Next verse. And they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us? Why he talked with us by the way? And why he opened? So what is the scripture meant to do to work on your heart? Write it down. Jesus was explaining to them and immediately their heart got opened. They said, wow, when he was teaching the scriptures, our heart burned. It means that we could, we could see exactly the meaning of scriptures. Because one can have the scripture and yet don't have the meaning. Number two, why would Jesus choose to reveal himself through scripture? Ask your neighbor. Why would Jesus choose to reveal himself through scripture? Ask your neighbor. So that nobody will come and tell you that I was in a vision God taught me. God wanted a situation whereby all of us can know him in the scripture, not through vision. Write it down. God wants all of us to know him through scripture, not through a vision. You know, there's a way a pastor can behave. It will make you feel as though you are a second class citizen. All of us, we are citizens of heaven. The same blood of Jesus that washed me, washed you. You are not inferior to me. I'm not superior to you. Did you hear what I just said? That's a very hard statement. I said you are not inferior to me and I'm not superior to you. The difference will be my understanding of the scriptures. Peter, are you following what I'm saying? Instead of me to say now, hey, do you know? I, I know the scripture. No. Write that down. Write it down so that you won't have a picture of him. The picture of Jesus is the scripture. Write it down. The picture of Jesus is the scripture. He didn't want you to have a picture of him. So all that man they call poet that you put in your house. And you say he's a silent listener to every conversation. Because you like gossip. Because if you don't like gossip, you won't be putting such a silent listener. Because you always think people are talking about you. Even dead bodies, they talk about dead bodies. Keep those things behind and move forward. Did you hear what I just said? If you keep listening to what people say about you, you will hear what you are not supposed to hear. Concentrate on where you are going to. So by then, I say, he's the silent listener to every conversation. Jesus is the head of this house. Then you now put somebody's picture. Instead of putting anybody's picture, put your picture because Christ lives in you. Your picture is the picture of Christ. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't put sin in pictures. Write that down. Jesus can't be seen in pictures. So the picture of Jesus is a scripture. Learning anything today? The picture of Jesus is the scripture. Now that means that I must not play with the scriptures. In John 1 45, this is what John has to say. In John chapter 1 verse 45, in the course of our teaching, 
Learning anything today? Come on. Are you learning anything today? Did I finish that scripture where it is said? What's wrong with me? Did I finish that Luke gospel? Ta point at me. Say, Pastor, where are you hurrying to? Point at me. Say, Pastor, where are you hurrying to? Say, the scriptures cannot be learned in a hurry. Tell me, Pastor. Tell me, Pastor. The scripture cannot be learned in a hurry. Then you write it down. <laughs> because after pointing at me, I need you to be patient for me to preach what cannot be learned in a hurry. And that's a challenge in church. Pastor, just give us sharp, sharp. Let's go. You will live a sharp, sharp life. You didn't hear what I said. You will live how? A sharp, sharp life and you'll be shallow. You see, what I've taught you now, even if I stop here, you now realize that it's not a picture that reveals Jesus. It's a scripture that reveals Jesus. Instead of putting Papi's picture on your neck to show you a member of this church and that the anointing of Papi is upon your life, please look for your picture, cut it, pull rope. Jesus is in you. Your picture now is a revelation of Jesus upon your life. Stop idolatry. Tap your neighbor, say, Stop idolatry. Tap your neighbor, say, Don't put Pastor's picture on your neck. Tap your neighbor, say, The same blood that saved Pastor. Is the same blood that saved you. Now look at your neighbor and say, instead, wear your picture. Is anybody angry in church? He said, Pastor, so you know they like many people, they celebrate you. I, I cannot be celebrated because I can't die for you. There's one who died for you. He's the reason we all gather today. Am I, are you angry with me? Somebody looked at me one day, if not like this, you know, get money. I would rather tell the truth because the money will leave it here one day. But there's a well done that I will receive. That good and faithful servant. That's the one I crave for. You didn't hear me. That is the one I... So we all live for different reasons. You didn't hear what I said. I said we all live for... Hey, because if I want to do capon, I'll just say, uh, hey, you stand here. You st anyway, I'm going to... Etoraj. We criticize politicians, but we behave worse than politicians. You know why? We have left the scriptures for something else. And our strength is in the scripture. Write it down. My strength is in the scripture. You say, Pastor, Papi, today you're, you know one here. I know here. You must learn this Bible. So, where did we stop, self? Okay. Okay, so we have next verse. And they, and they told what things were done in the way and how he was known of them. In the breaking of bread. How, were they, how, were, how did they know it was Jesus? Is it the bread or the teaching? The teaching. Are you seeing how they now presented it? Next verse. And as they thus speak, Jesus himself stood. Did he vanish before? Yes, did he vanish before? Now when they comprehended, he now appeared. You, like brother Geoffrey did this morning. Once comprehension comes, you see people beaming light. As soon as they comprehended, Jesus said, that's where I want to get you. Not for you to be looking for pictures. Selfie with Jesus. Instagramming with Jesus. Facebooking with Jesus. It's, it's still that colonialism that is our problem. We like to adore pictures of men instead of scriptures. Which will have the picture of scripture in our mind. Do you know what he said to Joshua? This book of the law shall not depart out of here. Your where? Your where? No, you people are not quoting it where. No. It is in your heart. Where? It is. Hey. Joshua 1 8. Put it. We will come back here. Are you people reading your Bible? Backward. Joshua 1 8. We will come back. Let's read. Joshua 1 8. Okay, you people are getting confused. This book of the law shall not depart. Is it heart or mouth? Have I helped you? You pay for that. Because some people say, this book of the law shall not depart. From. No. Why mouth? Because what you keep saying registers. So the mouth is the window to your heart. That's why they say, out of the abundance of the heart, what happens now? The man's Tap your neighbor. Say, don't sleep when pastor is preaching. Just tap your neighbor that is close to you. Even if he's not sleeping. Say, don't sleep when pastor is preaching. 
I don't want you to go and write about the BD when I am when you are supposed to re- write scripture. So we've done that. So I make progress. And as they don't speak, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, the first statement Jesus says, anytime he appears, peace be unto you. So he does not threaten anybody. But they were terrified and are frightened. And suppose that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, why are you troubled? And why do thought arise in your heart? Behold my hands. Did he start with his hand or with the scripture? Now, you know what I want you to write? Stop experiences and stick with the scripture. These are the things that have robbed the present day church of the knowledge of God's word. They like experiences when people fall on the ground. When a man falls, you learn nothing. What did I say? <laughs> when a man falls on the ground, you learn nothing. <laughs> spin, spin. It's me and Dr. Combs. I used to know how to de- demonstrate that. You learn nothing. It's just drama. We must rely on the scripture. And so, in the light of Christ. There are so many things you pass as Christianity today. It faces the test of the scripture. What did I say? There are so many things you pass as Christianity today. They face the test of the scripture. Somebody will tell you in present day, bring Cain. You say it's prophetic. What did you say? Question. Are the scripture prophetic? Second Peter chapter 1. Let's find out if they are, if they are prophetic. Second Peter chapter 1. Verse 20. Join me to read 20 and 21. One to go. Knowing this first. That no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So how did they come? Join me read the next verse. One to go. For the prophecy came in not in old time by the will of man, but so the scriptures in your hands are already prophetic. So you don't need prophetic cane. You don't need prophetic egg. You don't need prophetic water. You don't need prophetic sipas. Did you hear what I just said? You don't need prophetic oil because the scriptures are prophetic in nature. It is when people want to shy away from the authority of the scripture that they take you to those things. You are not in a house shrine when you come to church. So stop looking for things to go home with. What did I say? So as, I, as I was praying, the Lord said, I should give you these handkerchiefs. It's a manto. You have started practicing juju. You go through the entire New Testament, you won't find the word manto. It's an Old Testament word that was depicted for something. And this present day does not want the scripture to interpret those things. They call them manto. But in actual sense, they are not different from native doctors. Write this down. In the New Testament, elements have passed away. Write it down to help you. What did I say? Elements have passed. Types and shadows have passed away. Hebrews 13 verse 8 to 10. I will stop there. Symbols, thank you. Symbols, elements have passed away. Jesus did not give Peter one thing. Say, as you are, as all power is given to me, take this one, put it in your pocket. There are talismanic operations in church today that face the test of scripture. Don't be a talisman in church. Say, they give me something, make I put them for here. There are some people who say, this is prophetic biro. As you are writing the exam, use this biro. It's prophetic. When the Bible starts writing itself, even other students will run away from the class. <laughs> you see, Bible, they dance, they do like this. 
What is prophet? Is it not what is here that you see transferred to the Bible? People like to be deceived. Read with me. One to go. Jesus, the same yesterday and today and forever. Now, this way I'm taking you to everybody, verse 9. Everybody. We'll use two different renders, verse 9. One to go. Be not carried about with divers and strange, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meat, which have not profited them. The writer of Hebrews says, stop elements, stop symbols, stop all those things. He said, your heart will never be settled. That is why when they give you oil, if it doesn't work, they give you another color of oil. After that one, they'll look for another one. Say, if this one not work, look for another one. After that one, they will give you another one. Your heart will never be settled. But in Christ, our heart is settled forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know, a native doctor tells you because you didn't apply it the way I told you. I told you if they greet you on the road, don't answer. When you are going, say the truth. That 12 in the night. Did anybody greet you on the road? Say, Baba. Mm. Mm. It was one small child. He said, that's why it didn't work. They'll look for another one to give you, isn't it? But look at what the Bible says. Join me to read it. So, do not be attracted by strange, new ideas. Your strength comes from God's grace, not from rules about food. We don't help those. In the Old Testament, this thing doesn't help them. That's why Christ, Christ came as a fulfillment of all those things. Tap your neighbor. Say you didn't come to Amadi Hoa's shrine. You came to the church. Stop carrying symbols. Things. Can I shock you? You know the pendant on your neck is beautiful. But it is not that pendant that you put the cross that saves you. The one who saved you is the Jesus, not the one that hung on the cross. The one that died and was raised. Our strength is in the resurrection, not in the hanging. So stop looking to your pendant. And some people will act for him. When they act for him, they will bring the cross out like it. Pastor Bai, see? Then you will see devils will do like, ah! They do the cross like this. Ah! It's another kind of gospel. It is not the cross that saves. It's the resurrection that saves. Am I confusing anybody? If you are still not satisfied with that, 1 Corinthians 15, 14, 15, 16, to explain that further. You know why I'm doing this, Sandra, and our doctor? is because I don't want people to rely on symbols because that's not what the scripture presents. The scripture prevent, presents that all that happened in the Old Testament brought us to a place where we no longer look at those things. True? Okay, I'll read this before we go to that place. Don't be lured away from him by the latest speculation about him. You know what I'm teaching this? December is at the corner. As you are going to the village, that man that says you will not make it, put this thing in your pocket, they will not be able to harm you. Tie this thing. Wear bango. Jesus is not in bango. Jesus wants to live in you. And he lives in your heart by faith. If the Jesus in your heart is not enough, the one in your hand, they will soon cut it. What did I say? They will soon cut it. Even my bango fell off the other day. I didn't know. I quickly picked it. Can you imagine if this was my Jesus? They don't cut them. And they could have killed me that time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We don't have Jesus of bango. We have the Jesus that lives in our hearts. Am I communicating? Are you people angry with pastor? You see, there are some people now, their market don't spoil Read with me. Don't be lured away from him by the latest speculation about him. The grace of Christ is the only good grant for life. Product named after Christ don't seem to do much for those who buy them. It will not help you. What did I say? I'm not hearing you. What did I say? Now, the next verse, next verse, verse 10. Why didn't we read verse 10 since? Verse 10. We have, I didn't hear you. We have, are we supposed to raise another altar? Have you heard there are so many messages? Altar against altar. Which altar is speaking for you, sister? Pastor Barry, which altar is speaking for your family? 
Pabe, I see the spirit, you need to raise 12 altars. Each altar for each month. January to December. Because there are altars in your father's house speaking against you. Fa, fa, fa. We have from which the priest in the tabernacle have no right to eat. Next verse. Christ has become our everything. He is the he is our offering upon the altar. That's why, have you ever heard us call here altar before? This is a pulpit. From here we pull you out of stupid teaching. Altar against altar, we pull you out of it. Because no altar speaks against you. You have come to Mount Zion. You have come to the innumerable company of angels. You have come to the church of the firstborn. You are before the spirit of just men made perfect. You have come before this blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Are you seeing where you have come? Stop looking for what is against you. Start seeing where you have come to. Learning anything? For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are born without the camp. But for you and I, we don't rely on those things. We rely on the scripture. I quoted 1 Corinthians 15, 14, 15, 16 because I said it's not the cross, it is the resurrection that saves a man. True of us. Did I say something like that? Please, I will round up there. Even if I can't round up there, I will round up on Thursday. Amen? I say, amen. amen. And if Christ be not risen, then our preaching is what? So it's not the cross, it's the resurrection. Are you following now? Huh? And your faith, we are vain. Next verse. Yea, we have found false weaknesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ whom he raised not up, if so be, that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is Christ not raised. So the resurrection is our strength of the faith that Jesus is Lord. His Lordship is not on the cross. His Lordship is in the resurrection. So that your pendant that they show you on, on film, there's one I watched. Whether is it Dracula? I can't remember. As they brought the shining this thing. Hey! Hey! They are selling another gospel to you. And there are people who believe those things. It's my place to debunk them with the scripture. To tell you your strength is not in a pendant. Christ does not want to be on any item. Christ wants to live in you. For your body is the temple of the living God. Where does Christ live? Talk to me. Where does he live? Now, how do we know? The scripture reveals that. Are you seeing why we rely on the scripture and that Jesus is the interpretation of the scripture? As I close, Matthew 28, verse 18 and 19. What are the scriptures useful? Matthew 28, 18 and 19. What are the scriptures useful? And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, upon resurrection, all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. What will that power be used for? Go ye and preach. So the resurrection is the power of God. The resurrection is the power of God. The resurrection is the salvation of God. So with the resurrection, we have put an end to symbols. We have put an end to items. We have put an end to pictures. Stop putting pictures on your gates. Those things don't save you. Those early days we used to produce stickers, isn't it? We didn't do it more than one year or two years. But as we grew in the knowledge of Christ, we found out your protection is not in a sticker. He said, as I saw the sticker, the witch said, I went back. You like lies. Because you like lies. John chapter 8 verse 44. He said, you have your father the devil. And the deeds of your father you do. He is a liar and the father of it. When demons are, you are praying. Say, how many are you? 
Say we are 53. What is your mission? <laughs> I feel for some pastors. He said, we are told to come and afford the pastor. He said, church, are you hearing? They think they can afford me. They don't know. I'm f- I'm... You like drama too much. What did I say? You like drama too much. And since the devil knows that that's what you like, that's what they will bring. True of us. I say, in the name of Jesus, everything that is not of God, I command you out. You cannot stop us. You cannot. Then usher will put a microphone in their mouth. Say, where are you from? Satan sent me. We, we, we had food together. Yet. You, see Satan. <laughs> I don't know if you are. I'm, I'm from the queen of the coast. I'm the queen of the coast. Ah! In Benin, one said, me and Michael Jackson, I'm the one that is responsible for all our inst- for his instrument that he's using. That's why people fall in love with his play good music, Satan all day. <laughs> you like drama too much. What did I say? You like drama. And the way you can escape drama is to focus on the scripture. They will never... Have you seen any devil manifested in this church? The devils know that I don't like drama. <laughs> no devil. Have you seen anybody break any chair here? Have you heard? Hey! 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 When they are manifest, Jesus will say, shh. Jesus will say, shh. But our present day people put microphone in our mouth. We, we tried you. It didn't work. We tried your wife. It didn't work. We tried our children. Then the pastor will not come out with big chairs. I told you people, you don't know I have excess power. Shame. We do like drama. Nigerians, Af- they call it ATR, African traditional religion. We like it. Tell your neighbor, you don't need drama in your life. You just need to believe the scripture in your heart. And I say to you, the Bible says, surely they will gather. But because their gathering is not of God, everyone that gathers against you, what did the Bible say? Will fall for your sake. It's not because you are carrying talisman, but because of who you are. He said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in me. That is why I don't look for something to hold because I already have the greater one. Hello, church. Does Christ live in you? So why are you carrying those talisman around? Are you a native doctor? Rely on the scripture. They said, did not our heart burn when he opened the scripture? So the scripture is like bread. We break it. We have had communion in this church, in this church today. How many of you have had communion today? Do you know the communion? The of the word. The word communion means fellowship, sharing, distributing. That is communion, not zobo. And biscuit they made in Abba. And I don't know how that biscuit became the blood, the body of Jesus Christ. Let's take religion off our eyes and see Jesus for who he is. He is revealed in the scripture. You are complete in him. I read the last scripture. You know you are the one making me to talk. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. You are making me to talk. <laughs> Emeka. And this is what the Bible. Join me to read. One to go. Purge out therefore the old. L- Who will purge it? You. Why? He said that you may be a new lump. As you are. Are you already on level? Now look at the next thing. For even Christ. He's our Passover. is sacrifice. We won't do another Passover again. Because he's our Passover. There's nothing like communion again. He is that communion. And as we share him in church, we partake of him. Am I communicating? Did you learn anything today? Now, do you know that by the authority of God in your life, you can demand what you want in your body. That this body will serve you. Accident will not force this body out of this world. My body serves me. Sickness won't force me out of this world. I say this body serves me. My needs are met and my bills are paid. This body serves me. I will be strong even in old age. This body serves me. My eyes will not be dim. This body serves me. My youth he renews like that of an ego. This body serves me. All my needs are met. 
Bless today. Lift those hands and just appreciate him. Thank you, Father. We'll give you glory. In Jesus' name.